So I'm working on this knife and I'm up to the point where I'm going to start finishing out the handle. And I thought, why not make a video on handle shaping, layout, and that sort of thing. So right now, I've already bedded the tang into the block. And I've got my hole drilled and a pin in holding it up against the guard. So the next thing I want to do is profile it. And then we'll start doing the sculpting. This is going to be a Coke bottle stylish handle that will have a museum or heirloom fit. And I'll explain a little more of that as we go along. But I've got some rough lines drawn out here to get the profile that's about 330 seconds, a little, little less than the height of my guard. So since I got the rough outline done, I'm gonna pull the pin and go get it profiled to that shape. And I'll get it kind of close, but I'll save some room for when I start shaping it out. So we we'll get this pin pulled and go get it profiled. Okay, with the profiling done, I'm about 330 seconds higher and lower than the guard from top to bottom. That gives me room to finish it out when I get to that point. But right now what I want to do is put it back together and start laying out some lines so we can do our sculpting. Give it a little persuasion. I'm going to use a little trick that my friend James Keating at Red Beard Ops come up with. You don't have to have a granite surface plate or a height gauge. Now, if you have that, use it. But I'm going to use something that you probably have just sitting around your house and make it's cheaper and easier and just as good and fast. And now I'll put some reference lines around the top and bottom. I know this is hard to see. It's hard to set up the camera. I'll try to get some better shots here. Let's see how close we are on this one. Pretty close. These lines are a little wider than the guard. I'm gonna work down to them and then work down to my fit up here and my final width here, but these are reference lines. The main thing is this center line, center of the blade. So I'm also gonna come here on the front of the handle material. And I'm gonna make a line all the way around the guard, right up next to it. It's a guideline. I don't wanna go past that line, but it'll give me an idea, location, how far I need to shape this handle. When I get close, I'll be fine tuning it. I'll make many trips back and forth to the grinder checking this line. I'm also gonna come right here about midway or thereabout, and I'm gonna find out where the ball of the handle will fit in my hand best, probably right along in here. So I'm just gonna make a mark right here, nothing technical. See how far that is. Make another mark over here. This will be cut in right here, and this will be cut in to out here. It'll be a lot thinner than it is there, but it's just an idea, general location. All right, if I get his pin out. So I'll be roughly contouring this handle up against this flat platen but I like to use a 50 grit belt to do this, specifically an aluminum oxide belt. However, I'm having to use a ceramic belt since I don't have any AO belts in stock. You just run slow, that way you don't burn the wood. As I'm grinding, I'm taking my time and I'm watching my line. Keep reference. 
I want to make sure I don't overcut it and leave room for finish work. Now I'm going to switch over to a wheel where I can do a little more contouring and sculpting of the handle. I like to run it horizontally, that way I can see what I'm doing here. But I'm going to be cutting this at an angle. I kind of want the ball of that handle to be at an angle. It just feels better in my hand. Just shaping it up to where there'll be a little taper from top to bottom on the handle. Give it a little more ergonomic feel in the hand. And that's our basic shape. Now it'll get more rounding and that sort of thing as we move up in grits and finish it out. And here I'll just fine tune it until I really like the shape and I'm looking at my center line the whole time, making sure I have symmetry and that sort of thing. Now I'll fit it back together, take a look at it. And now I'm going to go back over my lines at the guard. I have to do this several times because they kind of wash away. Here I want to pay real close attention that I don't overgrind and I want to just creep up on those lines. Now I'm moving to a slack belt. I'll remove the platen off of this assembly and slack belt all the way out. I like to do most of the finish work on the slack belt. I do very little hand sanding. I like to use fresh belts for this operation. That way I'm getting all the previous scratches out and I can get good clean cuts that way. Okay, now we're gonna move up to 600 grit, which is gonna be the final belt. And I'm gonna work up to where they're almost disappearing. That will leave me just slightly under a 16th all the way around. And of course this handle is based on the shape of the guard. So, but I want to do a museum fit. It'll be slightly proud of the guard. So I'm going to sneak up on it with this 600, but I want to make sure that all my contouring is right, even, square, but you need to be doing that the whole time. So here we go. and a little contouring right there at the end where we'll get our museum fit up. I just like a small bevel there. I'm gonna do just a little hand sanding just to smooth out any rough spots I might've missed. And we'll get it buffed up. I'm using a white rouge on a muslin wheel. trying to let the sander do all of my sanding. I do very little hand sanding, unless it's something major. But I, I'll come in here and just clean up any sharpness. I don't want any hot spots on the handle. That's our fit up. It's not perfect, but it's close. And I'll show you some shots of the full knife here in just a second. But a patron gave me this block of wood, actually gave me several, and I want to thank him for that means a whole lot. Helps me make the videos for this channel, so I really appreciate that. But I hope you got something out of this. If you got any questions, please leave them in the comments. I appreciate you watching, and here's some shots of the knife.